Hey guys, it's Mia. <laughs> Okay, so I just turned 18 this past February 1st, to be exact. A year ago on that day, I turned 17. And 17, where I live, is when you can get your actual driver's license. I know some states, it's like, oh, you can be 15 when you drive, you can be 16. Nope, where I live, you have to be 17. And so for people who live in the state that I do, it is like the best birthday ever because you get to take your driver's test, hopefully pass, and start driving, and it is literally the best. Like, 17 is the year. 17 is the year and so I was my birthday I passed my test I absolutely loved driving it was amazing I was driving everywhere I would drive to school I would drive to my friends I would drive here I would drive everywhere like any other 17 year old would so I don't know if this is a thing for like new drivers or if it was just me but I was a speedy driver I drove pretty fast not gonna lie and I've changed I've started to slow down a bit I still drive a little bit faster than like that average grandma okay no oh my God, why am I sweating why do I always sweat when I film videos so I would definitely still drive like a little faster than that average lad however I was really really driving fast at this point in my life I don't know what it was but I was really picking up the speed I mean I loved to put the pedal to the metal um so, <laughs> so on a road that's let's say like 55, 60 miles an hour, I would drive 80 as the minimum. 90 sometimes, max like 100. And I know that sounds so ridiculous and I'm aware that that sounds ridiculous. I don't drive like that anymore. I've learned my lesson. I've matured a little. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. I've matured a little bit, okay? But yeah, I mean, I was a speedy driver. I don't know why, but I loved to drive fast. It gave me energy. It made me happy, okay? All right, it didn't really make me happy, but I just liked to do that. So one day I was at school, this was in April, um, and I was driving home. It was a nice sunny day out. I mean, it was nice. We didn't have our sweaters anymore. We had our just polo white shirts. I mean, it was sunny, the sunroof was open. I had just gotten my coffee. Now you know me, I love my coffee. I always get it, and so I had gotten it after school. And I didn't think anything of it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drink this coffee, I'm gonna love it. And I was thirsty, okay? I was thirsty that day. <sighs> So what do I do? I chugged my iced coffee. I mean, I couldn't stop. I just drank the whole thing. So, you know, I was loving that iced coffee, okay? So I was loving the iced coffee. It was great. It was one of the best iced coffees I had ever had. Like, I was thirsty. It was hot outside. I just drank the whole thing. Now, if you're a coffee lover like I am, you know that coffee makes you go to the bathroom or it makes you have to pee, or at least it does for me. Now, I live a good amount of I mean, it's a pretty far drive, I'd say. It's a pretty far drive to my school. So, you know, I, I had just gotten my iced coffee and I had to go. So in my mind, I was like, the only thing I care about right now is getting home. That was what was on my mind. It's like, go home and pee. Just get home as fast as you can so you don't pee your pants, pretty much. So I went full-fledged pedal to the metal. Faster than the fastest car you've ever seen drive. That's how I was driving, okay? And I know, it's not something to be proud of, okay? I understand. I was going probably like 80 80 something high 80s in a 55 zone and I loved it I was like I'm so glad like I'm going to get home and I'm gonna pee and it's gonna be all good little did I know so then I continue driving and the lane that I was in starts to go from a 55 zone to like a 40 mile per hour zone and this is where it all goes down I was still going 80 I think maybe I brought it down to 70 but I was still going you know pretty fast for that speed limit that it was. Not only was I just driving really fast, but I was swerving in and out of the lanes, going left and right, trying to get through everyone. But I really didn't care at this point. All I cared about was getting home and my bladder, like emptying that bladder out. And then for a second, I was like, whoa, 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 Mia, maybe you should slow down because you could get a ticket. <laughs> I kid you not, I actually thought that for a split second, and the exact second after I thought that, the lights. The lights behind the car. They're behind my car. The cop. The cop. And that's when I knew. I made a big mistake. I... Ugh. My heart was beating out of my chest so fast. I pulled over. Oh my god. The tears were in my eyes. I was trying so hard Keep them in, keep them in, keep them in, keep them in. The cop came around, I rolled down the window. The first thing he said to me was, where are you headed? I said, I'm just, just heading home from school. I was, just, I was just trying to get home. And he goes, you're driving like a maniac. I said, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, officer, I'm sorry. I was so upset with myself. I was like, how did this happen? Oh, I don't know. 
me? How did this happen? Maybe because you were going so fast and swerving. Like, I don't, like, how did you not expect it to happen? Like, that was just stupid of me. Um, he was like, license and registration. I was like, well, here we go. And he was like, he was like, I'll be back. And he went back into his car. Now, this was my first ticket ever. I had not had any points on my license. I'd never gotten pulled over or anything like that until this day. He came back with a long piece of white paper. He said, here you go. It was my ticket. He said, ticket for reckless driving, miss. <laughs> he did not say it like that. He was like, ticket for reckless driving, miss. Reckless driving. I'll tell you. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. No, honestly, he was like, here you go. Ticket for reckless driving. I said, oh, God, no. I said, okay. Bye. I pulled away, and the first thing that I did was obviously start crying. Mental breakdown. Tears rolling down the face. Tears rolling down the face. I started bawling. I, I don't think I've ever cried this hard, except for when I was maybe two. I'm not even kidding. Like, it was insane. I could not see the road because my eyes were water. It was bad. I was just bawling, like a bawling like you've never seen it before. I'm hysterically crying, and whenever I'm like hysterically crying about anything, I do one of two things. One is I call my mom or FaceTime her, and two, I send videos to my friends, like on Snapchat, because I'm like, you know what, maybe this will entertain someone. I'll just take a video of it. I don't know. So I did both of those things. First, I called my mom, I'm like, ah! like that's literally. Oh my god. So I FaceTime my mom. She's still at work. Um, at this point when I called her, she was actually with all of her friends from work. Like, they were all together. I called her hysterically crying. FaceTimed. She's like, Mia, what happened? Tell me now. I couldn't even say it. I couldn't even get the words out because I was, I felt so bad. I was like, I, 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 I got a ticket. And she's like, what? Mia, what? How fast were you driving? Oh my god. I was like, I was going 80 and a 50. My tears are still trickling down my face, still hysterically crying. And she she proceeds to show her phone of me hysterically crying to all of her friends and said, um, uh -huh, this is what I have to deal with. She's like, it's okay, Mia, calm down, calm down. I'm like, okay, mom, okay. So I hang up the phone and the next thing I do is I go to Snapchat. And what do I do? I proceed to record videos of me just telling what happened and crying and whatnot. And I sent it to some of my friends. When you're that upset about something and you're crying that hard, there's really nothing you can do besides just like crying to someone about it because if you don't tell anyone it's gonna make it so much worse so I just tell everyone um that's just kind of how I cope with my issues sometimes so they were like Mia what's going on I was like I got pulled over I got a ticket I was bawling my eyes out literally having a tantrum like a two-year-old like terrible twos but I was 17 and then my friends decided to screen record my little mental breakdown posted it on their finstas their twitter wherever posted it everywhere and then everyone ended up knowing about my little incident with the ticket and so so I have the screen recording that my friend took. But yeah, it was a crazy, it was a crazy time. Okay, it was a crazy night. <laughs> you make mistakes. You live and you learn. What can I tell you? And if you're thinking that that's never happened again, um, you're wrong. That has happened again. Unfortunately, it has happened once more after that, but that story is not as intense. Um, I've had some difficult times with my car, okay? I have. I don't want anyone to watch this and be like, I'm never going in a car with her. No, I'm a, a nice driver now, I've learned. I think at first I was just a little bit, you know, didn't know what I was doing. So that's pretty much <clears throat> story of my first ticket. So I actually have a lot of stories of me mentally breaking down because again, when I do break down, usually I record them. So I have a lot of Snapchat videos of me just bawling my eyes out. If you want to hear any more stories, <laughs> let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications because if you turn on your post notifications, you will get notified when I upload, which is like the best thing ever because then it'll be a little ring a ding bell notification. Mia posted a video. Oh man, I'm so excited. Click on it and you see my video. Turn on that bell. Uh, so yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Falling, oh, I fought so hard for you.